We're not on. Yeah. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. I've got a uh, graduate <laughs> student forward, Mackenzie Holmes, head coach, Terry Morin, and senior guard, Chloe Moore McNeil. Go ahead and raise your hand uh, for questions. Coach, if you want to start out with the opening yeah. statement, and then we'll take some questions. Well, it's a great night uh, for us. We've been anticipating. We've been really eager uh, for this night to finally be here and um, just grateful, you know, for another opportunity to be a part of the field. Uh, really good Fairfield team coming in uh, to Bloomington, uh, as well as Oklahoma uh, and Florida Gulf Coast. So a uh, great field. We know that um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge no matter who we play, uh, but we're so excited to be able to to stay home here in Bloomington in front of Hoosier Nation. We'll go questions for our student athletes, our coach Morin. Talia, go ahead. Hey coach, congratulations to all of you. Um, you mentioned Fairfield's a really good team, a one loss team. So what are just your initial thoughts on them as an opponent? Well, uh, I can only go off by the record. You know, I watched them. I peeked down a little bit yesterday just because it was one of the uh, few games that were on. Uh, but I was, to be honest with you, channel surfing, uh, watching a lot of different games, guys and, and uh, women. Um, uh, I know Carly uh, quite well. You know, she was at Minnesota as an assistant. Uh, know her father extremely well. Uh, basketball family. Uh, excellent coach um, and has her team playing very well. So uh, there's no doubt that we have our work cut out for us. You go Seth and then Amanda. Yeah, uh, Mackenzie, just how's your knee feeling? Obviously, you know, that was uh, something that came up near the end of the regular season. I guess, Terry, are there any other, you know, has your team been able to rest up and get health, have, uh, healthy over the last couple of weeks? Are there any other updates uh, from around the roster? Mac, do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I think this past week I've been able to get some much needed rest for my knee and I've been able to get back out on the floor. I've been practicing. So um, each day I think I'm feeling more and more confident on it, um, feeling better on it. So this week has been great for um, that on the aspect of the recovery of my knee. Uh, and it's just been a good week for all of us, uh, especially Mackenzie and certainly Sid. Um, uh, you know, we had some other kids that have, uh, been a little bit dinged up. So this was a great week for us, uh, to rest a lot, although we did practice, uh, but we really shortened it. Um, but, uh, it, it was, it's been a good week. Yeah. Today we had everybody, uh, yesterday was the first day we had everybody on the floor. So it was quite nice to see. Uh, but, uh, you know, now it's, it's go time for us. So, uh, we're going to take tomorrow off. Uh, get acclimated with, uh, you know, the Fairfield. And um, when the guys get back here on Tuesday, we'll be ready to go. Amanda and then Mike. Um, for any or all of you guys, I'm curious what this past week has been like, you know, as you're practicing and everything, not knowing if you're going to be playing in Bloomington or not, and then how special is it that you're going to be able to do it one more time at Assembly Hall? Yeah, um, I think obviously the staff's done a great job of keeping in mind um, of our injuries and things like that. And saving us as much as they can and I think being on the court practicing this past week has been pretty fun and relaxed vibes before things get real anybody else have anything to add? no I again you know we um have really taken this week I think just to take advantage of the time but um you know just to to you know uh, answer your last question we're we're grateful we know how hard it is to be able to host uh, we were hopeful, you know, uh, some things had to happen this week, uh, that, you know, went on, went our way. Uh, but, um, you know, anytime that you have an opportunity to play at home in front of your home fans, uh, we really, like you said, we're, we're not just, uh, excited, but really grateful that it worked out the way we wanted it to go Mike and then Lou. Uh, yeah, one for Terry, one for Mackenzie. Terry, uh, does having a crossover opponent help uh because they played uh Rutgers I believe does that help you in kind of scouting and then for Mackenzie um in terms of how you're feeling are you feeling better than you did at this time last year kind of going into the tournament uh with the knee and and just kind of comparing those two do you feel physically better uh than you did a year ago Mike I had no idea they played Rutgers that's just how behind I am right um and tomorrow will be the day or tonight will be the night that um we start getting ourselves acclimated with, um, uh, you know, Fairfield seeing, you know, I, I didn't realize that they played Rutgers, but, um, you know, I don't know if, if that matters, cause I'm going to guess it probably happened in pre-conference and, you know, just like us, we're a different team. We, you know, now than we were in November. 
uh, in December. And so, uh, you know, we will, we will probably, our preparation will, will start, but it'll really be surrounded or around those teams, probably the last, you know, uh, five to 10 teams that they played. Um, and I would say I'm feeling much different than I was last March versus this March. I don't think, I think I practiced maybe once or twice leading up to the Miami game, even after the big 10 tournament. So I'm now in practices doing pretty much everything. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better this March than I was last March, which is a, which is a great thing for me. We'll go Lou and then skip. You're on mute, Lou. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, you mentioned how special it's been all season with the support you've had from Hoosier Nation. Um, you average 10,000 a game. How special is it going undefeated all year at home that you get to play at home in the NCAA tournament on the bigger stage for McChloe? Yeah, um, I, it's obviously really special and something that not every single team is blessed to have. Um, and I think we're all just grateful that we can do that and it can be at least two more times. Mac, you want to add anything? Bro? I mean, you know, I, I don't like the way I left things on senior night. Obviously, going out with an injury is not not ideal. And um, so hosting was something that, you know, I, I wanted um, just to get the chance to play in front of Hoosier Nation. Like Chloe said, hopefully two more times. And um, I hope they show out for us. Um, I, and I know they will. You know, I know we have the best fans in the country. So I'm really excited to um, get a chance this week to play um, a couple more times at Assembly Hall. Go skip and then back around to Talia. Congratulations to all of you. Coach, um, seven Big Ten teams this year have been admitted into uh, the big dance. Talk about the continued progression and in, in this evolution of uh, of talent that's happened. And is this sustainable? And are you guys the best conference in the country? Well, I, there's there's no doubt that it's sustainable. I mean, um, you know, again, I talked a lot about that a year ago, uh, Skip. I think, you know, if you look across the board, there were a lot of, you know, talk, talk about the pack this season had a really, really great conference. But, uh, you know, everybody's going to argue that they play in the best conference, whether it's us, whether it's the ACC, SEC, pack, it doesn't matter. Uh, the parity in women's basketball is across the board is just fantastic right now. Um, you know, with the additions of those four other teams next year, you know, it's it's even going to going to be uh, a tougher, you know, league. And, um, you know, maybe a, a year from now or next year when we're talking, uh, you'll probably hear me saying this is the best league, you know, in the country right now. But, um, you know, really proud of the Big Ten. Um, always say this. We have, I think. Uh, some of the best players uh, and uh, some of the best coaches in the country and um, year in and year out, it's, it's a dog fight. And so congratulations to all those other big 10 teams uh, that uh, are in the field as well. And it's well-deserved. For, for any or all of you um, just from the buzz nationally, the excitement surrounding the women's tournament as a whole this year is just off the charts. Just how cool is that for you guys to be a part of this? I mean, it's very exciting, um, a very exciting time to be a women's basketball player and just the platform that we're given um, and the you know recognition it's gotten, the viewership it's gotten has been super special. Um, I don't think any of us are surprised by it. I think it's just a matter of when it was going to happen, but it's super cool to see how it's really evolved since I was a freshman and now. We'll go Pete and then Seth. Yeah, and, and Terry, can you talk a little bit about the importance of guard play in the NCAA tournament? You have a strong collection of guards and it seems like that's a huge uh, benefit this time of year. Well, there's there's no doubt, you know, but we feel like, uh, you know, we have, you know, the best, uh, you know, five man in the country. That's that's how we think of McKenzie. But, uh, you know, we knew that we had to surround her with great guards and, um, you know, with Chloe and Sid and Sarah uh, Yarden. Um, you know, and then you, you you can talk about Bo and Jules and, you know, some of the, the other guards that we have off of our bench. Uh, you know, we did that intentionally because of the, all the attention that Mac seeks, you know, we had to find, um, you know, guys that were going to be on the outside that, uh, you know, teams were going to have to guard. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, our guard play is going to have to be special uh, once, the, you know, the tournament starts, um, you know, this weekend. And um, I feel really confident about our guard play. It's been great all, you know, throughout the entire season. Uh, you know, just look at our, our field goal percentage, look at our three point percentage. Uh, you know, we've 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 had moments where we played some really good basketball. And, um, you know, I think this group is really confident. Um not only in each other, but the fact that we have great balance, I think that'll um, prove to be something that's going to be important as well. Seth, and then last question to Mike. Terry, obviously not at, at all your big games, but one of the bigger storylines with the, the team this year was, you know, some of the more disappointing performances in, in some of the bigger games. And, you know, when you look at the draw you guys got between a Fairfield team that's won a lot and some, you know, whether Oklahoma or South Carolina or teams that could lie ahead, I know you'll say you have confidence in your team, but I guess where does the confidence come from that your guys can handle the tough draw you may have gotten? Well, I mean, I think, you know, um, we we talk a lot about, you know, there's, it's one thing to, to come up short, to fail, and some of those have been super disappointed, but there's always a lesson inside of all those. And, uh, you know, we, you learn lessons throughout and, um, and there's just some nights where it's not your night. Uh, you know, one of the things, look, we're a team that wants to win all of them, but, uh, we're not, uh, naive to think that we can't, uh, you know, we can. And so, um, you know, we had a couple, you know, one or two of those, uh, Seth, but, um, our body of work, you know, throughout the season has proven time and time again that, um, you know, this is a, a team that's competitive. It's a team that's connected. It's a team that's mature, uh, experienced. And, um, you know, um, we're going to face anytime you get into this, uh, you know, you get into this tournament, it's, it's going to be hard. There's going to be challenges no matter who you play, uh, whether first round, second round and so forth. Um, and so, you know, I think we're prepared. We're excited. We're excited. Uh, you know, about uh, the opportunity that we have to once again, you know, practice together and be together and, and play. Mike? Uh, yeah, Terry, two quick ones. In, in terms of uh, Carly's father, Mike, did you just run and know him from his uh, time in the WNBA or did you have any prolonged interaction? And the second one, are you going to be less hard at, uh, in terms of practice to stay healthy kind of over the next week? Is that something... You know, how do you balance kind of trying to keep everybody healthy now um, yeah. just because that's been an issue the last, you know, two years and, and try not to have that happen again? Sure. Uh, I've known Mike, yeah, just being in the, uh, in the league, you know, with Grace a year ago, uh, you know, with some of the other players, McKenzie, uh, you know, we have on our roster, you know, there's conversations that happen throughout the season. Uh, he's been to uh, several of our tournaments to watch us play. Uh, he'll be here, I know, to, to uh, support his daughter. Uh, but probably also to see us play. Um, and so that's sort of the relationship that I have with Mike. Um, and uh, you, you know what? Um, I think it, Chloe alluded to it. You know, we um, I went shorter this week, uh, but it was it, it was uh, for the purpose of making sure we, we got to still stay competitive. You know, we still have to kind of stay on the edge of our seat. Uh, and so, you know, everything that we did, whether it was short, it was more intense, whether it was three on three, four on four, competitive in nature, um, you know, that's that's how we approached this week while we were also getting some rest. Um, so, uh, you know, our, our prep will be the same as it always is. Um, you know, we'll watch film with them starting Tuesday when we get back and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll dive right back into, you know, but but we were tapering off even at the towards the end of the season as far as our time on the floor. Um, we still will watch film. We'll still lift. We'll still do all those things. But as far as our time on the floor, uh, you know, certainly we'll we'll manage that. But um, you're right. You know, it's 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 not a not a concern. It's not something I want to think about. Put it out there in the universe. So, um, you know, us staying healthy is going to be very very important.